Hey guys, Jeff Ford here for another Fitness Friday and today I've got a great topic that I'm just ecstatic to talk to you all about. Um, what we're going to discuss today is benchmarks. A lot of the time when we're starting a weight loss program or starting a new routine, we kind of get focused on things we can't control. Um, might be something such as, you know, numbers on a scale or, you know, the number of inches we lose or just how we look in general. You know, a lot of those things are outside of our control and really don't dictate the amount of progress that we're making in our exercise routine or in our weight loss journey. Uh, so today, I want you to focus on benchmarks. Um, we have a lot of guests who, who stay here for, you know, three to four weeks and, and even longer. And uh, I can tell you from day one, their fitness program and their ability to push hard and to get through workouts is completely night and day. So what I want you to do at home is focus on these benchmarks. Today we're going to go through the squat benchmark, push-up benchmark, and then plank benchmark. Okay, so these three are going to give you a good overall comprehensive view of how fit you're getting and how much stronger you're getting as well. Okay, so on the squat, it's going to be a 60 second test. I want you to test this right off the bat and then retest three weeks down the line to a month. You could do this, you know, every month and I guarantee you're going to be seeing some progress. On the squat, if you're not very familiar with it, um, try to find a box or a bench and you can go off of that. Weight is always going to be in your heels, okay? You're going to push your knees out. Knees are never going to track in front of those toes. You can put your arms up to help keep your chest up or just keep them close. Now, I want you to work full range of motion, okay? So keep those arms up, push that butt back and down. You would tap and go straight back up. So staying in the heels, weights outside your shoes, and straight back up. My chest is up the whole way butt back and down. I'm going to do that for 60 seconds. So once I get really efficient at a squat, you know, I'm going to be repping them out. So you're going to see your pace improve and that way it's going to give you a number for how fast you can safely execute uh, a good squat. So 60 seconds, as many squats as possible. Benchmark number one. Cool, moving on. We're going to go to the push-up. All right, so a good test of your upper body strength. Um, what we're going to do with the push-up test is it's going to basically just be as many push-ups as you can do, okay? So instead of a 60 second marker for that, I want you to do as many as you can do with good form, okay? Our first modification is going to be from your knees, okay? Knees from your knees, <laughs> excuse me, that doesn't even make sense, um, but you're going to keep your shoulders over your hands, okay? Nice and tight. What I want you to do is full range of motion again, try to keep your elbows in, come all the way down to the ground, and press up. Okay, all the way down, pressing up, keeping your abs tight. Uh, if you're at a more advanced stage of your push-ups, you can get up here, you can come all the way down, chest to the ground, and press up, all right? Again, you're just gonna do as many as you can until fatigue. There's no hanging out here at the bottom and thinking you're gonna get one more. Chest and go, okay, see how many you can do. That's your benchmark number two for upper body, all right? Moving on, more of a core benchmark, also a little bit of upper body involved, we're going to test the plank, okay? Again, this is going to be as long as possible, all right? Plank position, everybody's going from their toes on this one. I don't care if it's 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, you know, 5 minutes. You're going to be building yourself up, I guarantee, okay? So plank, again, shoulders are over those arms. You're going to get your abs tight, okay? No spaghetti backs, all right? That's not going to happen. Keep it tight. No butts up in the air, okay? You're going to hold, have a friend, have a family member watch you while you're doing this. You're going to hold, hold, hold as tight as you can. Squeeze those abs until you just have to come all the way down and then rest, okay? Plank is going to be your third benchmark. Um, other benchmarks, you know, cardiovascular, you might go out and walk a mile. You might run a mile, see what that is. You might do a 5K. This is very motivating stuff, guys, and these are really the numbers that we should be focusing on. Okay? Have a fabulous weekend. Um, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next Friday.